Hey, welcome to Mechnician. Today I'm going to give you a demonstration of the capabilities of the Jaw Test Diagnostic Solution on a Bobcat T770 uh, loader. So let's first go into the compact construction equipment. You know, we'll go quickly here to the Bobcat model, but just the same. Uh, the gel test solution is able to diagnose over 150 brands of uh, construction equipment. So make sure if you're looking for other solutions to connect with us here at uh, Mechnician, be glad to kind of send you a video. So in this case, uh, we're chosen the T770 and you can have a quick look and see some of the solutions that's there for that model. So all the systems that are uh, were able to diagnose, they're listed here. Uh, from after treatment to electronics, engine, transmission, hydraulics, you know, all kinds of uh, capabilities here on the T770. Uh, and not just, you know, to diagnose fault codes and clear them, which, you know, is normally where it starts, but also special functions. I mean, you're able to do things like calibrate raising and tilt cylinders, um, you know, coating injectors, uh, intake throttle calibration, calibrate the hydrostatic pumps. Uh, lots of things you're able to do with a gel test diagnostic solution. It's not just a simple uh, black box for reading. It's you're actually uh, diagnosing, repairing, calibrating, setting parameters, and more. So in this case, let's come in. Let's just do a quick system scan. And we'll just read some of the fault codes in the system. It's going through everything uh, to kind of like give us an idea of what's going on. Uh, in this case... Uh, the engine module uh, is separate on a Bobcat. Uh, it has the uh, Doosan engine on this T700, uh, but it is scanning everything else here for us. So you can see some of the basic uh, fault codes that are going on here. Uh, it's going to give you basic de details, uh, and these are just demo data, obviously, right? So it'll give you some uh, information on the fault code itself. You know, when did it last occur? Uh, on, off, active. Uh, what is it that's going on when um, inside of each one of these codes and then some of them you'll actually get a little bit further you know it might take you to more details uh, or even uh, some component replacement information depending on what it is uh, in this case we're looking at a implement tilt solenoid valve so all right tell me about it well there you go there's where it is right uh, that's a nice little connection for you uh, can also just kind of come in take me right to the wiring diagram uh, show me specifically how the, the solenoid does uh, connect inside its system. All the wiring diagrams are very connected, very visual. Uh, you know, if I want to see what each one of these are, you know, I can just as much as like just hold my mouse over it and I'm able to understand, you know, what's going on uh, inside uh, the wiring diagram. So in this case, implement tilt solenoid valve, or I can search it. This would be the same for any other diagrams and that that we might have in here. So... We take the, um, come out of the wiring diagram, I'll take you back to the front end of the solution. And let's go look a little bit closer over at um, one of the uh, specific systems. So in this case, let's go, let's go into the engine, right? Okay, so we got the engine control module. You know, if I wanna have a look at what cables are gonna be needed, uh, it's going to tell me, in this case, the engine is a Doosan, right? So we've got a different connector. It's going to show me where to find it. Give me a look at it uh, and help me just kind of see what it is. If I don't have the cable, uh, it's also going to give me a multi-pin uh, options, which the multi-pin connector does come with your solution. Uh, a little bit, obviously a little bit more work to kind of get connected. It's always good to have your dedicated cables, but you never know what you're pulling up on, especially if you're a field service tech and you're getting everything, uh, you don't know what equipment you might work on from one day to the next. So let's, uh, let's just go and connect. All right, so now we're into the engine. Uh, we could come in and read the fault codes, uh, much like we were doing uh, outside. So here, you know, a fuel metering valve, uh, short circuit, same thing, that's a simple short circuit. Uh, it's gonna take us through some troubleshooting, probably just a, an electrical issue. Uh, but just the same, uh, it's better than nothing, right? Uh, it's going to give you something that's there. Other more complex uh, component replacements, it would have more information on them. Uh, in this case, it's at least giving you some, some ideas on the short circuit, uh, ways to troubleshoot that. 
Uh, next, we can uh, let's come back to the. There we go. Uh, we could clear fault codes. Uh, we can get into system data. That's just going to like tell us what the ECU is saying. You know, basic uh, information here, like what's the software, the engine, the hardware. If you needed to provide that to your dealer, it's going to give you that. But if you need to actually go and do live data selection and do, you know, whatever, some trials and actually see, um, you know, what's going on. It also gives you the ability to set triggers so you get notifications when you're passing different limits. Uh, just an absolute pile of data points here that we can actually read on the 770. I don't know if you can see, but I mean, this is all different measurements. So, you know, you could also just come through here and if I type, you know, injection, or, you know, it's going to bring up all the injection ones, right? Uh, if I want to see the visual reporting on them, you know, here's all the um, measurements, you know, and it can actually do data recording too, so you can save it, come back, see what happened while you're operating the machine. Uh, it's all built into the solution. So um, I'm just taking you through some of the basics here as well, but I hope you're getting, getting an idea. So now we'll come back, uh, the monitoring, you can actuate some components, not much here on the 770. Uh, in this case, we are in the engine too, right? But you know, you can, uh, you know, actually actuate the glow plug relay, right? Um, system checks, here we got some fuel metering, EGR cutouts. Uh, these are all different tests that you're able to run. It would walk you through the instructions uh, to basically operate them. Again, this is for the engine, uh, but here it's going to, you know, allows you to cut the fuel supply to the selected cylinders. Uh, may turn on and off injectors individually, you know, and it's going to then take me through the instructions. It's got to be at idle. Coolant is at operating temperature. So it's going to tell me if I'm ready to go. And, you know, what do you want it to do? Oh, you know what? Do it automatically for me. All right, so it's going to take about a minute uh, and it's running through the actual test and this is just demo data but it's going to run exactly the same as if it was on uh, the machine so uh, i'm going to just here we go it's actually in progress and it gave us uh, some results because again it's not doing a real test here all right so captures that data and anything else that you're doing too like if you're doing um, you know, hydrostatic pumps or joysticks or things, it's gonna, hey, push it all the way to the left. Or some of them might be taking you through the steps to actually do it inside the machine, giving you the instructions. Like I think the hydrostatic pump one is here on the T770. Uh, maintenance, you know, telling you what your services are and things like that. The uh, calibration, you know, your fuel metering valve, EGRs, intake, injector reset, uh, lots of capabilities on the T770. If you got to code some injectors, uh, it's also letting you do that. So we had a look at, you know, quick look through some of the capabilities and here we're just in the engine. Uh, you've got so much capabilities across, uh, you know, 150 brands and thousands of models of equipment just with one software solution. Uh, in this case, we're having a look at the Bobcat T700. Uh, certainly if you did on anything else, you'd find you know, different levels of capabilities on every model, you know, every, every system has different diagnostic capabilities uh, and also it's all built out, right? So at the end of the day, there's three major updates a year and it's forever upgrading. And with the changes in systems and technology, it's, it's worth every penny of that license. Uh, you can go get a system that doesn't have an annual license and you're probably going to get what you paid for when it comes to uh, ongoing innovation and development. So now last thing I want to show you uh, when you actually go to leave. So if we go to leave the, I want to save it and I'm going to show you what happens from the work you did. So you can put some additional information in serial numbers and whatever, but all the work we were doing, whatever it is, we were uh, reading codes, measurements, it's capturing that into a work order for you as well. So everything's all documented what we did, uh, what we saw, there's the transmission fault codes we looked at. Uh, here's the, you know, some of the um, data and ECU data that we kind of pulled out when we did the live measurements. Uh, there's the automatic process we ran, the results of it. 
and everything's all there. Grab your customer signature, your pricing, and you're all done. Or if you're working on your own fleet, use the Garage Resource Planner tool that's in here, and you're able to uh, you know, set up tasks, get your crews ready, store your documents under your fleet, uh, and so much more. So uh, with that, I uh, thank you for your time to review the Bobcat uh, T770 in the gel test diagnostic solution. Uh, if we can help you with your diagnostics to empower your service team, uh, come visit us at mechnician.com. I'll be glad to help you. Thank you.